and welcome back to my channel. As you guys can tell from the title, we are doing a full get ready with me. We're gonna be featuring the hair, featuring a new hair tool that I got from L'Oreal Professional. This is their steam pod. You'll hear more about it in a few seconds. But anyways, I'm showing you guys my hair, my makeup, fragrance, outfit, the whole nine yards. So also, if I'm talking weird, girl, I got these dang invis lines in. I, the list is real. It should go away within a couple of days, but yeah. So if you want to see how I got this look, then of course, just keep on watching. So like I said, we're going to be starting with our hair first. And it's going to be featuring this new L'Oreal Steam Pod. You guys, you want to talk about a straightener? This is more than a straightener. I'm going to show you. But shout out to L'Oreal for sponsoring this video. You can get this at hair.com. I'm going to have links down below. So clearly I look crazy, but we're going to be straightening this hair here i'm gonna be straightening curly hair because i want it to kind of match my texture so that's why i'm opting to straighten this instead of just using straight hair so you'll see it's gonna look so cute so i'm gonna go ahead and slick my hair up and part out the little bangy pieces that i want and then i'll get on to showing you guys exactly how this works so now that I only look slightly crazy, <laughs> let's go ahead and show you guys how this works. Like I said, this is the new Steam Pod from L'Oreal Professional. So basically what this does is it uses, sorry if I'm talking kind of weird, I have my Invisalign in. It uses Steam technology, okay, to basically straighten your hair. So not only is it supposed to be about two times faster, it's also supposed to be two times smoother, which helps with 91% less breakage of the hair. And we all know that's important, okay? So I have mine set to 350 degrees, which is one of the lower temperature settings. So I'm just gonna go ahead and brush out my extension. Now I want you guys to look in here. Do you see the combs that are in the iron? That is gonna help you get the smoothest and sleekest hair you can. And then now listen to this. You hear that? Girl, that's the steam technology in there, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and just show you guys. So I'm gonna go through it one more time. And if you notice how much better that stroke went, it's because the first time I was holding it upside down. So if you look on the iron, it has arrows here that are pointing downwards. So you want your hair as it's going through to get fed into the comb, which is going to help smooth everything. Girl, look at how straight that got. I'm gonna have a link down below as to where you guys can get this. It's on hair.com. They also have tons of other hair products as well. And the hair feels so soft. It's not sizzling, like listen. You would think it would like sizzle because it's steam, but no. I don't know how they do it, but I'm embraced. And like I said, I have this on the lowest heat setting. So could you imagine if I cranked it up? I'm not going to because I also have to straighten um, these pieces up front, uh, in the front of my hair. And, um, you know, I don't need super high heat for that. That's another thing that I like about the steam pod is I truly feel like I, I haven't really been getting any damage. You guys know I'm like on my whole healthy hair journey, but I know y'all have been seeing me wear my little bangy bangs straight or whatever. And I've been using this L'Oreal steam pod and every single time my hair reverts just fine. I have been having no issues. So I'm here for it personally so look at the end result of our bundle i know you guys remember what it looked like before and this is what it looks like now now i'm gonna go ahead and do my little bangy bangs i have already um treated these with a little bit of um, heat protectant that i also got on hair.com and i'm just going to and watch how many passes just one that's it, that's all I need, just one. So these are nice and straight, so I'm just gonna twist them up and get them out of the way while we do the rest of the hair. I'm gonna have a link down below to where you guys can get this from L'Oreal Professional on hair.com. Major shout out to them for sponsoring today's video, so make sure you guys check that out. So to finish the hair, basically what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna take my hair and I'm gonna wrap it into the tiniest of tiny buns that I can. Since I'm kind of bald headed, this is a little bit easier for me. So if you actually got some hair, it might get a little more difficult. Now we can take our bundle and I'm gonna take a piece of hair out like this. And I'm gonna wrap that around my bun. And this is going to secure 
the hair around like the track instead of just going straight and wrapping the track around this is going to make it more secure when i get to the edge i'm going to do the same thing i'm going to pull hair and then wrap that around then i'm just going to take it and i'm just going to wrap this until i like the way that the bun looks i kind of should have put my bun more on top of my head that would have been cuter that's not bad though. So I'm just gonna kind of like figure it out, play with it, wrap it. Okay, she's cute, I like that. It'd be, it'd be a little lopsided, but cute. What is, oh, that's you're seeing through it. Girl, that's fine. What is this hair? Oh. All right, so now it's time to do the little bangy bang pieces. And I really hope that y'all saved some hair from your bundle. So I have a few pieces right here. You're gonna wanna get some lace glue unless your hair is long enough and you don't have to do this. And now everyone asks me why lace glue instead of just regular hair bonding glue. And the reason I like lace glue is because it dries clear. So the hair literally just looks, even if you don't have any hair on top of it, it looks like it's growing out of your head. Like no one's ever gonna be like, those are pieces of hair glued to her scalp. You get what I'm saying? But with bonding glue, it's black. So you, you can, and it dries like gray. So you can see it. And if you're wondering about damage, I don't find there's any damage, but I also remove it at the end of the day and I just use the lace glue remover. So I'm just getting some hair glue and I'm gonna split this in half and I'm just gonna part the bottom layer of the little bangy bang part out so that I have a little bit of hair to cover the top of it. And then you just wanna grab a like section of the hair that you cut. So what I recommend is trying to flatten it while you glue it together instead of making it like um, like an eye tip. I don't know if you're understanding what I'm saying, but I already squeezed some glue out onto a piece of cardboard. And what I'm gonna do is just dip the ends into the glue. I kind of showed you guys this in a video before. So I just dip it in and then I kind of like mesh the hair together so it's kind of like one piece but trying to keep it flat and then for any of the like excess ends at the top i just snip it so it's all straight oh and then i dip it one more time in the glue you want to let your glue kind of get tacky a little bit you want to sit it out and let it get sticky you don't want to use like wet fresh glue it won't stick and you don't want your bangs also to be too thick especially when they're straight they look kind of funny so just be mindful of that and then i'm just going to stick it right there on my scalp and then I'm just gonna hold. And then once it's like stuck, I pull the top hair down and then I push it on top, hoping that it'll kind of mesh into the glue a little bit because my hair likes to spring up. But if your hair doesn't do that, then you should be fine. So then you see how everything just kind of blends together. Like you have these little pieces, but no one's like looking at you like, and if they are, they looking too hard, you was a hater. And another thing to note is most people's hair is thicker than mine. I have very thin hair. So, you know, if you can barely tell with my thin hair over the top, you definitely won't tell when y'all have your much thicker hair covering. So then the next step is to just trim the little bangy bangs to your desired length. It's up to you. I prefer them to be a little bit shorter than this. Like I like for them to hit like right under the chin and cut them at an angle so they're not like harsh i kind of feel like i made them a little too thick but like with the with the bun it's kind of a vibe i'm gonna end up cutting these a little bit shorter but since i have to do my makeup i'm just gonna brush them i'm gonna tuck them behind my ears and we will worry about those later but that's how you do it so you see how like you can't really tell maybe on this side you can just a little bit because that one was like real blunt when i glued it but Cha! now that the hair is slightly done we can start on our makeup you know this lunch meeting is gonna be cute you know so i'm gonna be taking the anastasia um, brow freeze i've been using this instead of um lash glue because i'm just too lazy to get that lash glue out of my brows fully so this is what i'm using um i've been growing my brows out so they kind of look cr a little crazy um, I'm trying like not to pluck them at all because I feel like it promotes growth. I kind of like made that up in my head. I don't know if that's true or not, but that's what I'm doing. Then I have to pull my mirror closer because I cannot see. I hope that's not 
to in y'all's way. I'm going to be using a mixture of my Kevin Aquan concealer in SX08 and I mixed in my Hourglass. Oh my God, there's hair everywhere. Hourglass Flax Concealer. I mixed them because Flax is darker than SX08 and SX08 is just a little too light because I'm kind of tan right now. So I kind of mixed them in the cap together as a brow highlight. Now I like to use the Kevin Aquan on its own for my face, but under my brows, I don't like a really bright, I cannot see. I don't like a bright brow highlight, so I'm gonna carve this out. Then I'm just gonna take this fluffy brush and dip it into the rest of that concealer that I have in the cap and just put it all over my lid because we are gonna do a little bit of eyeshadow. Um, so, trying not to get it in my lashes because I just got them filled yesterday. So they real thick right now. Because y'all know my retention for lash extensions is a garbage. I'm just gonna set all of this down with a little bit of some powder. Next up, I'm gonna be using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip, br dip Brow in Soft Brown. And then I guess I'll use the same brush that I use to slick them up. I like to flatten it super duper flat. This is an Anastasia 7B brush. And then I just dip it in there and I wipe most of it off. And then I just fill in slightly. I don't like for my brows to be overdone. I don't know, I just really don't like that look. And then I extend my brows forward because I feel like they're kind of short in the front. So that's just my preference. This is this is the brow that I did. So I think it's like soft, natural, but put together, you know? Now for eyeshadow, I'm gonna use the bronzer that I've been using, which is the Makeup by Mario. This is in the shade Dark. It looks like this. I absolutely positively love this bronzer. And I'm gonna use a Morphe M513 brush just to blend this into my crease. I don't know how the girlies are feeling about Makeup by Mario, but this one, me, I'm feeling it, honey, I'm feeling it. The cream bronzers I don't really care for, they're a little too cool toned for me, but this powder bronzer, gives. So I just do that on my brows, I mean on my child, whatever this is called, eye. And you can build this up if you want it darker, but like I said, I'm just going to lunch. So I wanna try to keep it light and fresh, you know, make it look like I tried, but like, did she? Maybe she's born with it. I feel like I say that every time I do my makeup, but that's really how I be feeling. So literally just like that, nothing too major. Now we can move on to the skin, the part that's going to give. For primer, I'm gonna be using the Bobbi Brown Face Base. A girl, I used to, well shoot, chow, it ain't nothing in here. I thought I was gonna use it, <laughs> I guess not. Okay, time to get rid of that. L uh, let me see what else I got. Okay, clearly I just need to go through my makeup and throw everything away because I think this is empty too. This is the Fenty Pro Filter. Excuse me. This is the Fenty Pro Filter uh, Hydrating Primer. So let's see if I can get anything up out of here. You know what? Why? Why do I still have it in the drawer? Am I the person who pours the last little bit of juice and then put the carton back in the, in the refrigerator? Child, not in my own house by myself. Okay, but luckily I have a mini one, so I'ma just use her. This is supposed to be for traveling, but look, you gotta do what you gotta do sometimes. Now for foundation, I'm gonna be using the Fenty Eavesdrop. Oh, wait, child, I almost forgot a step that I didn't add to my routine that I really like. Hold on, Whew, I'm tripping. So lately I've been color correcting and I feel like it's been making all the difference in my makeup routine. So this color corrector is from NARS. This is the Radiant Creamy Color Corrector and I have mine in medium. So I like to do this just a little bit because if you do too much, y'all already know. So I do a little bit right there under my eyes because um, I'm really, really like light skin and my veins, that's why my, I be looking bruised in the face. It's just my veins. And then like around my mouth, I feel like I have a little bit of discoloration. So I just do a little bit there. I'm gonna go ahead and just blend that out with my beauty blender. So I'm gonna start with this part. And you know, maybe it doesn't do anything, but I really feel like that just brightened that up. Like, do you see the darkness? 
placebo effect. Girl, whatever, something. It really do work under the eye though. Like, look, hold on, I'm gonna blend that out. Look at my under eye. Tell me that don't look like I just did concealer. I did not. Like, look, you see, you can see the darkness on this eye and it's not there. Okay, NARS. I mean, I'm pretty sure any color corrector will do this. So yeah, I feel like the color corrector really, really works. So I've never really used a color corrector before. So God damn, my teeth hurt. Uh, I'm so over these Invisaligns. Okay, so like I said, I'm using the Fenty Ease Drop because my Givenchy foundation, she's a little light for your girl. We can't use her right now. So I'm using the shade 13 and 16 in the Ease Drop. And let me show you how I'm doing this. So I take 13 and I'm using her in the center of my face. So like all, oh, I'm running out. So like all around those areas. And then I'm using 16 and I'm putting it all everywhere else pretty much. Um, I don't really put anything on my forehead, especially when I have a tan, it just don't be hitting, ground it don't look good. So I'm gonna do that and I'm gonna blend this out with a beauty blender. And then I'm also blending this into my ear because my ears be pale, girl, and then I be looking crazy. My ears be looking all light and then my face be tan, it just be looking crazy. Then I'm gonna take my handy dandy Kevin Aquan. Um, I had got a lot of comments and people were like, that concealer is so thick. Yes, it is. Do not lay this on like you would a regular concealer. You want to use the smallest amount of this. So I'm taking a concealer brush. Let me show y'all. Okay, when I say the smallest amount, let me show y'all how much concealer is on my brush. Can y'all see that? Probably not. But it's like nothing. And this is going to go across my whole face. So you do a little bit on the chin. Then I go down the nose. Then I do inner corner and around the nose under the eye, I need a little bit more, just a little bit. And then this side. And you do not wanna let this sit because it will not move. If you do, it will start to dry down and chow is like cement on the face. Because I color corrected, I feel like I don't need to like, y'all know how I was putting concealer right here for a little bit? I feel like I don't need to do that because it looks bright now. That, that color corrector really helps your girl out. I feel like I keep trying to flash y'all. Like my titties just really trying to pop out right now. And I just don't understand why my robe just like won't stay closed. Ooh, now I'm trying to scratch my face. It's a concealer. So I'm just going to blend that out using my beauty blender. You just want to tap it. It shouldn't really spread too, too much. Like that's why I say don't use too much because this concealer is pretty... Not even pretty full coverage. This is as full coverage as I think any concealer can get. I have been so into the like bright under eye. I don't know if you guys can tell in my like couple of past videos, but the under eye has been popping, okay? And I've really been feeling it because for a while I like wasn't feeling the under eye, the bright under eye. Um, not this bright anyways. I would do it a little brighter, but not crazy. But now I'm kind of taking it back a little bit. It's giving... I don't know, it just like really accentuates my tan even more. And I think I like really like that, so. As for con uh, concealer, we just did concealer. As for powder, I'm still using the Huda Beauty. This is banana bread. And I'm just making sure all tapped out. And I'm getting a little bit. And I'm gonna pop that under. I haven't been cream bronzing because I don't have a cream bronzer in the shade that I need for my tan right now. They are all, like all the colors that I have are either too light or they're like the same tone as my skin tone, but the undertones are different. So it like looks weird. I know I didn't put any concealer here, but I like for my forehead to be really, really matte. But it's okay that we don't have a cream bronzer because this powdered bronzer from Mario or Makeup by Mario, girl, whatever it's called. This is the bomb. So I'm getting this on my, what my little witch broom brush? My little raggedy witch broom brush. I'm just gonna dip it in there. And then I'm gonna start on the forehead. I don't really do much on the forehead because my forehead is already like much darker than all the rest of my face. I just try to like blend around here where I did that powder to like matte it out so that it doesn't look so splotchy. 
Okay, and then I'm doing it in my cheekbones, running it to the temples. I just love how warm this, like, mm. and I bring my bronzer pretty like high up on my cheeks, almost like it's blush. I don't know why. I just like the way it looks. Pretty much like all the outwardly areas of the face. I'm also gonna put a little bit more powder there because I want that super matte. And then as for blush, I have gone back to using NARS's Orgasm. I don't know what it is about this super pink blush on my skin when it's darker. I just think it looks stunning, personally. Um, so the brush that I'm using is a Makeup by Mario brush. I like to use this smaller edge. This is the F2 brush, by the way. And I just pick up so much blush. And I just pack it on. But like, stunning, right? Like, I'm get you a pink blush. I'm telling y'all, people be so scared. Get you a pink or a like red, mm, it just eats. Especially during the summer, it really looks like you got a little hot and you kind of sweat it a little bit and then like it calmed down. If, you know, I think that's cute. Oh, I didn't, girl, I knew something was missing. We gotta get this nose together. I completely skipped my nose contour. So I'm just gonna run that bronzer. I know it looks crazy. Just, just, just roll with the punches. Just roll with me, okay? Okay, I might've made it a little too skinny. But still, just, just, just vibe with me real quick. Just, just, just vibe with me. Okay, okay, it came together, it came together. She's a little skinnier than I would have liked. It's giving Michael Jackson. But, you know. Then I'm gonna take a brown eyeliner and I'm gonna do my inner corner. And I'm also gonna put any beauty marks that I have that are now gone because of makeup. Um, I know a lot of people don't like this, but oh, there is powder on my chin. Still. There we go. Okay. And I'm not gonna straighten these pieces anymore. I kind of like the like little, the little bit of wave we've got going on. But I am gonna kind of twist them together so they're a little thinner. Cause like I said, I made them a little too thick. Oh, just wait till I put my lipstick on. Just wait till I put my lipstick on. My makeup face does not look good without like lip liner and lipstick, like the whole nine. I don't know how girls be so cute with like their whole face done and not their lips, and they're still cute. Like, how does it feel? to be one of God's favorites because it ain't me. Mm -mm. God be looking at me like, put a lip line on. I'm like, all right. So I have two lip liners because I'm tan now. Um, I have to go a little bit darker with my lip liner. I'm actually gonna put these back behind my ear because I don't know why I thought they could hang right now. Um, so Huda Beauty has the best lip liners. Look, don't hate the player. Don't hate the messenger, that's, that's the saying. Don't hate me, don't be mad at me. It's juice facts. These are the best lip liners I ever used and I like all the colors, which is crazy. So I'm starting with this one in warm brown and I'm gonna like barely use this. So I use this for like my overline basically, like just a little bit, so. Oh my God, why is my hand shaking? Oh my God. Okay, so that's about how much I do of the warm brown. And then I take, because I don't like too dark of a lip line and I don't like too red of a lip line, I take the Honey Beige lip liner and I go over that. And that just kind of lightens it a little bit. Now I'm taking another lip liner and I know you're probably like, girl. This is from ColourPop and this is in the shade BFF. This is number one. This is like really, really pale on me. But I like to color my lip in with this because I like a really like pale pink. I don't like for my lips to get too like red. I'm using the Dior Lip Maximizer in the shade 001. So it's just like this really pale pink. It's like a milky pink, like a milky light pink. Okay, then I pull my little hairs out. And voila, this is the look. Okay, so this is the hair and makeup. I'm gonna go and get dressed and then show you guys the outfit and it will be done. All right, y'all, so I'm gonna show you the outfit, but look, I don't know what bag I wanna carry. So this is this is the outfit. I'm just wearing this um, Skims two-piece set, right? And I put this blazer over it and I rolled up the sleeves. The blazer's from Pretty Little Thing. 
And like, it's giving away of my Bottegas, right? Now here's the tea. Oh, let me give y'all jewelry breakdown. I have on this necklace, it's from Zara. This necklace is from Monica Van Adder. My earrings are from Oma the Lit. Yeah, wait, no. My earrings are from Monica Van Adder as well. Uh, my uh, Cartier, Rolex, um, uh, Cartier, Louis, Monica Van Adder, um, Dior, and then both of these are Cartier. So the tea is, I don't know what bag to carry, okay? So here's the Fendi that we're always carrying, right? She's cute. It's cute with the Fendi. But now I kind of was like, maybe, just maybe, I want to switch it up. Now, I never wear crossbody bags, okay? So I have this Louis Vuitton. And I was like, what if, I, this is giving me more like businessy, business cash. But then I also feel like, no, I don't know. I think that the Fendi is more my comfort zone, you know, and this is more out of my comfort zone. So, so what do we think, ladies? I mean, obviously, you guys will not be able to answer me by the time I go to lunch in 20 minutes. So, um, hopefully, I pick the most popular vote. Which one? I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of feeling the Louis. It's different for me, you know? It's different. It's different. And I never carry this bag, so I kind of want to carry it. Uh, oh, by the way, these pants from Sims were actually leggings. <laughs> and I cut them and it made knockers. Because she's a fashionista. Okay, I just be snip, snip, cut, cut, you know. Mm -hmm. I feel like I can't go wrong with either one. I'm going to look cute either way, you know. It's just like which one's cuter. Which one's cuter. So. I hope you guys made a good decision. I hope I made a good decision. So that's the outfit. But she's cute. I think she's giving. I've actually worn this outfit before. <laughs> uh, I just didn't get a picture and I actually didn't like go anywhere. And I actually did wear it with the Louis. <sighs> Anyways, this outfit. She's cute. Alrighty guys. And this is the final look. I think we look amazing okay now that you guys have seen the outfit the makeup everything we got to talk about the fragrance so i'm wearing valentino's i believe this is called born in roma one of my faves it smells so good um i think that this is very good for like the workplace but like fun if that makes sense but since i am having a more like casual meeting like lunch I think that this is really appropriate. So absolutely love this. And that is everything, you guys. That's the hair, makeup, outfit, fragrance, the whole shebang. Okay, I hope you guys like the look. I feel so cute. Um, I have to take these Invisaligns out. Like, I cannot. Woo, I can't be talking to them like this. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to check out the steam pod from L'Oreal Professional at hair.com. I'm going to have that link down below, like I said. And thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye. I'm like drooling in my mouth. Oh, my God.